All right, you guys, so we are here in Nebraska. I got my brand new, that's my Howa 6.5 Creedmoor. It's got a Burris Eliminator 3 on it, and I'm shooting the 143 grain Hornady ELDX. I'm so stoked. And my fingers do not work in this cold weather. It's unbelievable. Out here in the Midwest, you have a lot of wind. You have a lot of conditions. And so I just want to make sure we are still sighted in because I've been dragging this gun all over the country. When you have this much time and money tied up in a hunt, when it comes time to make your shot, you want to have all confidence in your gun. Let's go to the woods, y'all. It is opening morning of rifle season here in Nebraska. I'm at the legendary Seth McGinn's house. This is the founder and owner of Can Cooker, y'all, in all his glory. He's lying. <laughs> My name's Joe. <laughs> <laughs> when that's bright. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, it's cold. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. No, no, I just, I'm using the light as uh, helping you see where you're at. Actually, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Opening day of deer season has just a special meaning to millions of Americans. And today is that day. So, uh, glad you're with me. You want donut? Yeah. Grab me a Coke in a can and a donut. So on any other day at 4.50 in the morning, no one would be at this store. But today is opening day. Everyone's here, everyone's jacked up and everyone's ready to hunt.
my hands are literally frozen. I, I just said, okay, honey pie, Sarah, I love you so much. And I, I, I tell you all the time to see it happen, take a breath and relax. And I literally was talking myself through that as if I was talking to you. I wish you were here so much and I would do anything for you to have just killed that deer. Next year, it's your year, honey, I love you. Yeah, look at that. That's one that doesn't get any shrinkage when you walk up to it. Oh, look at that. You aren't excited, are you? Okay. I'm so excited I don't even know how to hold the deer. It's got a big giant kicker on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful Nebraska 10 point. You can't. Heavy, let that. huh? Yeah, nobody would let that thing walk. No. Dude, let it walk! If I would have thought this, if I would have thought this was the biggest thing I could possibly kill, I would have rode a horse from Florida to here to hunt it. That is what, as a kid, man, I dreamed of having a shot like this. And you know what, you guys? I shot him right in the neck because that's where I had the shot. And you know what? I practice with my guns a lot. Yesterday, I came up here, I went to the range, and I practiced and practiced and practiced and fine-tuned it so I knew it was shooting dead on. He was sitting there, I had a good steady brace on the fence, took a nice breath, let it out, came tight on the trigger, worked perfect, man. Howa, 6.5 Creedmoor, Burris Eliminator, and the Hornady ELDX, 143 grain Precision Hunters. That combo is lethal. I am so stinking stoked. So I just came over here to Seth's house, snow all over the ground, and I want to cook him a little southern deer meat dish, something that I grew up eating, something that I loved. This is a piece of the ham, a piece of the hind quarter. Uh, most people, anytime they talk about eating deer meat, it's like backstrap, as if backstrap's the only piece of meat you can eat on a deer. Well, this is just one of them muscles that I seamed out. And uh, you just wanna make sure it doesn't have any of that connective tissue right there. If you don't have any of that, it's probably gonna be tender. So what I like to do is I'll cut one steak right down. And when you get to it, just cut it off. And that's gonna leave that silver skin on the bottom. Always cut across the grain like the grain of the muscle goes this way you want to cut this way otherwise you'll have real chewy meat all right you guys so we've got all of our steaks out cut pretty and we're going to season them up you can season them with whatever you want uh, seth actually has some really good seasonings if you go to cancooker.com and then i have a seasoning that i use a lot called everglades that's some of his this is some garlic salt this is onion pepper. I wanted black pepper, he handed me this. So uh, the, the trick is you're just gonna season it up. Not, nothing too crazy. Take yourself a Ziploc bag just like that. Fellas, if you're cooking in the kitchen and you don't make a mess, your wife will love you. It took me 42 years to learn that. Take and flour your little deer meat steaks just like that. A lot of times I'll just let them sit in there like that for about five or ten minutes and it sort of adheres to them. Here's a super cool trick when you're pan frying stuff. In your oil, add some butter. You can add a little, you can add a lot, but that butter's going to add a little browning effect to the meat that you're cooking. Look at that little piece of love. Whenever I was a kid, this right here was my number one, absolute, 100% most favorite thing in the world to eat. I'd rather eat this than a Snickers candy bar. I'd rather eat it than apple pie. I'd rather eat this than anything in the world. That's why, whenever I started deer meat for dinner, and I was asking myself, what do I love? I said, I love deer meat for dinner. 
So what I always look for when I'm cooking these little steaks, I look for them to start getting a little bloody on the outside right there, and that means that they're just starting to cook. Um, typically, I like my meat about a medium rare, but whenever I'm cooking deer meat, I cook a little bit better than that. I don't know why I just do. See that? See how it got that nice brown look? These deer out here in the Midwest are literally like a fat steer, just healthy. They eat corn, soybean, uh, wheat. Right there is exactly what you're looking for. Nice, golden brown, beautiful look. That just looks like heaven to me. Take them out, put them on a little plate with some paper towels. Ooh, nice. Mm. Great texture. That's so tender. I was, I mean, because it was killed a day, I was expecting it to be a little tougher than that. Mm. Tasting game in there? None. I think it's new to what they eat. I think it is too. But you guys, I hope you try this. Um, everybody in Nebraska, it has been an honor hunting in your state. In the last five days, I killed my first mule deer and one of the biggest white tails I've ever killed my whole life. Let's we'll see, uh, we'll see if Hank approved. Hank. <laughs> Go ahead. Hank! Hank approved. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. If you want to check out anything about Seth's business, Can Cooker, and all the different products he makes, that will be in the description below. But this is all I have for you today. It has been an honor. It has been a pleasure. But all good things must come to an end. And that's what we're doing right now. We are gone.